having a great and wonderful Sabbath today. Um, we're, we're sorry. Hold on. Let's see. I'm going to pause that. Let's see. All right. Just stopping the recording. want to make sure that the stream is well. Um, we thank everybody. We're sorry. We're a little bit late, uh, about 15 minutes late coming on at 10 o'clock uh, EST. Um, but we have a great lesson for you guys, the love of Christ through confession. Um, we want everybody to know that we are uh, editing and re-uploading that uh, keeping the Sabbath lesson. It did get cut off from the live stream, and it wasn't a very, very good quality. Um, so I hired with Grace, and we re-recorded it. Um, we're going to edit it, and we're going to repost it. So keep a lookout for that video, uh, keeping the Sabbath. And... We hope this lesson comes out great. Uh, the love of Christ through confession. Uh, I'm Brother Zachwa, by the way, for anybody who's new to the channel, I know we're just coming on because we were just recording that lesson, so we're just coming on live for you guys. Um, Brother Kasafo is with me. Uh, that was a child. Uh, welcome to Hebrew yeah. Church. Uh, Brother Kasafo, you got a thing you want to add? Talam. Um Thank you guys for your patience with us and um, be on the lookout. We are revamping the website and the lessons to make sure all the edification is true and correct. Because as you all know, our goal is to teach in the sincerity of Christ for truth's sake, not for our own sakes. So anything that we may have put out that was not accurate, we're looking at it to make sure it's right, going into the scriptures to make sure that what was said was right and true, to ensure that everyone is on the same one true doctrine. So Amen. continue praying for us. And we also are praying for you all. Any prayer requests, make sure to email it in if you'd be led so to do. And may I, yeah, I say continue to build us up in the faith. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes, indeed. Thank you all for your support. Really, thank you all. Definitely. Thank you, guys. Uh, Brother Castle, for your video. There you go. All right, you're back on. Oh. Oh, sorry, I had to make sure my battery's right. Okay. All right. Well, let's get going. They've been waiting for all this right. lesson with 15 minutes past. They've been <laughs> waiting for with 17 minutes past now. All right, let's get into it. The love of Christ through confession. As we build towards the calling, may we grow in our focus on love and attain it unto it through confession. Today, we will discuss love and how confession is in its different forms can deliver us to bring us unto the goal of the calling that we are in. Can we start at Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 to 19, please? Yes. For this cause... I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. So there we see we all pray for each other that we may be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Pray for each other and for ourselves that we receive that inner growth according to the riches of the glory of our Allah Hayyam. Continue, please. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is breadth and length and depth and height, and to know That's... the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye, may be, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of Allah Hayyam. So we are praying for each other that Christ may dwell in our hearts by faith. Firstly, so may we all be increased in faith, believing that he's there and he's working in us. And in that faith, this will cause us to be rooted and grounded in his love. And as we work that love, it will help us to comprehend with all the saints. Notice it's with all the saints. So we'll all be on the same page, comprehending what the breadth, length, depth and height which essentially is just showing how great his love is and in this process this will bring us to know the love of christ which passes knowledge it'll bring us past the head knowledge it'll bring us past the carnal wisdom of the world but bring us in that 
we may be filled with all the fullness of Allah Hayyam. Be filled with his spirit in the fruits. Let us come to know this love of Christ through the exhortations of his disciples. This we're going into Clement so that we may be taught this day. First Clement chapter 48 verse 6. We're going from 48 verse 6 and we're running all the way to chapter 53 verse 1. Right. If you don't have the book of Clement, you can find it on the website as well. Yes. Sorry. No, pray to higher. Uh, first Clement chapter 48, verse 6. For so much the more ought he to be lowly in mind. In proportion as he seemeth to be the greater. And he ought to seek the common advantage of all and not his own. Well, the first calling is humility. Christ told us, come unto me, that ye, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest unto your souls. My burden is easy and it's light, for I am meek and lowly of heart. This, that humility is our first step to coming unto Christ. Continue, please. Let him that hath love in Christ fulfill the commandments of Christ. That first command we were given was humility. <laughs> if we have that love, let's walk in that firstly. And continue, please. Who can declare the bond of the love of Allah? Who can? Who can make it known? Continue, please. Who is sufficient to tell the majesty of his beauty? How can we truly do it? Continue, please. The height where unto love exalted is unspeakable. It's beyond our understanding to grasp the fullness of the love. Continue, please. Love joineth us unto Allah. Amen. Love covereth a multitude of sins. Right. Love endureth all things. Amen. It's long suffering in all things. Amen. There is nothing coarse, nothing arrogant in love. Amen. Love hath no divisions. Love maketh no seditions. Love doeth all things in concord. And love for all the elect of Allah am made perfect. Without love, nothing is well pleasing to Allah. Am. This is our goal, brothers and sisters. And though we it's beyond it's unspeakable to explain the greatness of this love, the Holy Spirit understands it. For she is the wisdom of Allah am, and she, through our Lord Christ in our hearts. Can bring us unto it as we walk in meekness towards our Lord. Continue, brother, please. And love the master took us unto himself. For the love which he had toward us, Yahweh Christ our Lord has given his blood for us by the will of Allah and his flesh for our flesh, and his life for our lives. The greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his friends. He set an example for us of how to attain unto love, giving ourselves up for the well-being of others, becoming living sacrifices. Continue, please, brother. You see, dearly beloved, how great and marvelous a thing is love, and there is no declaring its perfection. That self-sacrifice is a it shows how great love is. That's how we really walk in this love. As we've discussed before and we're seeing through the admonitions of the disciple. Continue, please, brother. Who is sufficient to be found therein? Save those to whom Allah shall vouchsafe it. This, the question he's asking, who's sufficient to be found therein? Who, which one of us is able? Which one of us is sufficient to be found in it except it be those whom Allah has vouchsafed it. It's him that makes it happen. It's not of our own doing. And this is where our humility lies. Continue, please. Let us therefore entreat and ask of his mercy that we, that we may be found blameless in love, standing apart from that, the factitiousness of men. That lets us see. We have to pray that Allah Give us his mercy to have us found in love. 
understanding the spiritual battle we're in, that righteousness comes through faith, with thanksgiving and supplication, making our requests known unto Allah Hayyam. It's him that's doing it in us. It's not we ourselves. That's why we rejoice in Christ Yache, because we know it's only through him that we can attain to this love. And we thank, we give thanks even the more as we see we, 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 the growth that's happening within us. Because we know you're bringing us closer. You're doing it. You're fulfilling Allah Hayyam's word to save his people. So it's, it's very humbling. All right, continue, please, brother. All the generations from Adam unto this day have passed away. But they that by Allah grace were perfected in love dwell in the abode of the pious. There you Not see the that. Yes, I'm here. Go ahead. Thanks. Thanks for leaving. Thanks for leaving the alley oop for me, man. <laughs> 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 I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for the love. <laughs> Look, you can't say it. I turned towards uh, you like, yeah, like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you see, as we were just talking about, it's Allah Hayyam's grace is why they were perfected in love. It wasn't something that was particularly that they did. Whatever they had done that was good and right, I have prospered it. It was his grace that caused it to happen. Right. This helps us really separate ourselves to stay in humility, not to think that it's something we're doing or something or because of who we are. It's truly just his grace. He will have compassion on who will have compassion and mercy on who will have mercy. It's all we can do is just be thankful that we're here and we have this hope. And it also increases our, our compassion for others because though a person may look like they're not walking in the love of Allah Hayyam or not going to attain, we don't know what the end of that person's road is. Right. That's why we judge no man. Look, wait and see what the end shall be. For Allah Hayyam will declare it by the works of the person. Every People are just in a process. And I... And, through the humility of knowing the process we're in, it increases our love towards others, seeing what we've done ourselves. May his grace be with us all. Amen. Continue, please, brother. And they shall be made manifest in the visitation of the kingdom of Allah. Right. We're going to see in the end. The end will show it. Continue. In Clement 50, verse 3, please. For it is written, Enter into the closet for a very little while until mine anger and my wrath shall pass away. And I will remember a good day and will raise you from your tombs. All right. Blessed we were, excuse me, blessed were we, dearly beloved, if we should be doing the commandments of Allah in concord of love to the end that our sins may through love be forgiven us. The Blessed are we if we do the commandments of Allah Hayyam in concord of love to the end. So with the goal in mind that our sins may be forgiven us through love. Yes. We know we need love. We need to get there for our sins to be forgiven us. It helps us understand what we're working for. And have the right mindset toward it to know I need that love in me so that I could be forgiven for everything I've done. Yeah. Continue, please, brother. For it is written, bless the day whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Continue. Bless is the man to whom Ahia shall impute no sin, neither is guile in his mouth. That blessing is what we're seeking after. And now we understand it's through love that we can have our iniquities forgiven and our sins covered and have the blessing of not being imputed sin by our Allah Notice our goal is to be not imputed sin by our Allah He is our judge. We cannot pay attention to what others, what people may think of us. We have to focus on what is right in his sight so that we be not judged by him and we can continue in patience within ourselves with a good heart 
that we may bear fruit and also in patience toward others because there's a scripture that Allah Hayyam talks about how the angel of repentance in Hermas talks about they are those who Allah Hayyam knew that they would serve him in the so therefore he gave them repentance so knowing that Ahaya, his understanding is beyond our own we have patience toward each other because though it may look like somebody's really struggling and it may even look like they're not going to get it together but if Allah Hayyam didn't show that's the case we continue in patience hoping and waiting to see what the outcome would be because it may just be a trial that the person is going through right. a purging process that they're going through and we just have to abide faithful waiting on Allah Hayyam to bring them through you might have you might have you might have been the one to see them at their worst you know just like Yate, you've seen many people at their worst some people were riddled with demons they were at their worst that they probably ever been in their whole life and and that's the time Yate seen them but that's the time you ran across them like you just don't know right touch you know that what you said is so true because all his disciples were the chief of sinners, according to the book of Barnabas. Right. He picked the worst people he could find. And we've seen that he endured patiently with them all, even knowing what Judas was going to do. Right. He still endured patiently with him. And then he also endured with Peter, knowing what Peter was going to do. And as Peter felt, he comforted him. Peter talks about that in the Acts of uh, Peter. How Yache comforted him much in his fall and, and helped strengthen him so that he we would love him. That helps us understand the love we have to have towards each other in this calling, even in the midst of watching people fall. And I think we should touch that verse. That's interesting between Peter, Peter and Paul. Because they both were ridiculed uh, about their faults. Uh, that was, yes. and it just made them stronger, you know, because they started using their fault as an example of their faith. So they would use it in their testimony. So, yes. Amen. Amen. I want to get that piece out of Peter so we can, it helps us understand the compassion Christ really has toward us so we can know how we ought to be towards one another. Oh, no. It's, it's, it's interesting what you said. They sure both got teased about what they did. Peter by Simon the Magician. I don't know if it was called teasing, but they were reproached. Uh, right. <laughs> right. Te teasing is a light term. They, right. they were reproached. They were, they, were they were put down about it. Right. But the thing is, they were only put down by the unbelievers. Right. Both of them. So... Now let us not be in that case where we're putting somebody down and we're acting as the unbelievers. <laughs> Amen. All right. We're found in faith. We operate in love and compassion, tenderness and mercy, All right. long suffering, patience. Uh, so we have to endure. We have to endure to the end of our faith. Just like they have to endure to the end of theirs. So we're all in this race together. Amen. You find a brother coffee for? Yes, I did. It says, this is in Acts of Peter chapter 21 in the paragraph. It says, for he beareth our sins and suffereth for us. But we did esteem him to be in affliction and smitten with plagues, for he is the Father. He is in the Father and the Father in him. He also himself, he is he also is himself the fullness of majesty, who has showed unto us all good things. He did eat and drink for our sakes, being himself neither hunger nor thirst. He carried and bare 
reproaches for our sakes, he died and rose again for us, who both defended me when I sinned and comforted me by his greatness, and will comfort you also that ye may love him. And it's key to see when Peter fell, he defended Peter. He prayed for Peter. And when Peter sinned, he comforted him by his greatness. And the purpose of his comfort is so that we will love him. So we see it gives us understanding of when somebody falls by praying for them and comforting them, it's so that they will love Christ. It's to bring them unto him. That's the operation of the love of the brethren that we ought to walk in. All right. Hopefully that helps understand the love Christ has towards us and what we have to have towards one another. And you, you also mentioned how they use their their um their testimonies to, to help people to help people convert people to show the greatness of this temptation and the greatness of the calling. Um, that's also in the Acts of Peter, where with, we're discussing this day, love through confession, right? We're going to get to when we're into the part, and this will help lead into it, about how confession, confession brings us onto love. And Peter is a testimony of it, as Zach well said. Well, let's see what Simon said here. Simon had reproached Peter and said that he, you know, he had denied Christ. But Peter, in, Peter, in Acts of Peter chapter 7, he says, I do confess, dearly beloved brethren, that I was with him, yet I denied him, even our Lord, Yahweh Christ, and, that, and not once only, but thrice. For there were evil dogs that will come about me, as they did unto the Lord's prophets. And the Lord imputed it not unto me, but turned unto me and had compassion on the infirmity of my flesh. Notice, Yahshua didn't look at Peter like Peter was wrong. He understood that Peter was going through the struggle that we all have to go through. Right. When and afterwards, I bitterly bewailed myself and lamented, lamented the weakness of my faith because I was befooled by the devil and kept not in mind the word of my Lord. And we know from what we read prior that Yahshua comforted him and defended him so that he wouldn't stay there. And now I say unto you, O men and brethren, which are gathered together in the name of Yahshua Christ, against you also hath the deceiver Satan aimed his arrows that ye might depart out of the way. But faint not, brethren, neither let your spirit fall, but be strong and persevere and doubt not. Now, it's interesting he said doubt not because right. as you're falling and struggling, it go, the devil going to tempt you to doubt that you can be saved. But we can't fall into that knowing that Allah Hayyam's love is great and this is the process we have to go through. Trust in the process and staying in it patiently and not doubting that the salvation can't come for us. I mean, not doubting that the salvation will come. For if Satan caused me to stumble, whom the Lord had in great honor, so that I denied the light of mine hope, and if he overthrew me and persuaded me to flee as if I had put my trust in a man, what think ye will he do unto you, which are but young in the faith? All right. So Peter used it. He used it to show you, like, as great a position he was in, look at what happened. Therefore, be on God even more yourselves, knowing that it can happen to any of us. Right. And, ha and have compassion toward one another, knowing that it can happen to any of us. Did he suppose that he would not turn you away to make you enemies of the kingdom of Allah Hayyam and cast you down into perdition by a new or the last deceit? For whomsoever he casteth out from the hope of our Lord Yahshua Christ, he is the son of perdition forever. Turn yourselves, therefore, brethren, chosen of the Lord, and be strong in Allah Almighty, the Father of our Lord Yahshua Christ, 
whom no man hath seen at any time, neither can see, save he who believed in him. And be ye aware whence this temptation hath come upon you. So there we have exhortation through Peter. Can we continue First Clement chapter 50, verse 6, please? Sure. This declaration of blessedness was pronounced upon them that have been elected by Allah through Yahweh Christ our Lord. To whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Continuing in Clement 51. For all of our transgressions which we have committed through any of the wiles of the adversary, let us entreat that we may obtain forgiveness. Yea, and they also who set themselves up as leaders of faction and division, ought to look to the common ground of hope. So we have exhortation for us all, where for our transgression that the enemy may have beguiled us to commit, let us entreat that we may obtain, forg obtain forgiveness. And also for those who may, when he spoke of those also who set themselves up as leaders of factions and divisions, that shows that the love of Christ, even for those who may have came in with some heresy or caused issue in the church, the hope is there for them too. Repentance can save us all. All right? Confession of our faults. Continue, please. For such as walk in fear and love desire that they themselves should fall into suffering rather than their neighbors. Amen. That, that gives us understanding of our mindset where when we see others at fault, we would rather it be us. That's the love that we walk in, the fear and love that we walk in. All right, continue, please. And they pronounce condemnation against themselves rather than, rather than against the harmony which have been handed down to us nobly and righteously. All right, we rather see, rather we look at ourselves downwardly rather than see the division of the congregation. That's, that's the sincerity of not wanting to cause any schism in the body of Christ. Continue, please. For it, is a good, for it is good for a man to make confession of his trespasses rather than to harden his heart. As the heart of those who hardened, excuse me, as the heart of those was hardened who made sedition against Moses, the servant of Allah, whose condemnation was clearly manifest. For they went down to, to haze alive, and death shall be the shepherd. May we be mindful, understanding how we can attain unto love, knowing that it is good for a man to make confession of his trespass rather than to harden his heart. Hopefully we're seeing that confession is a, part, is a key part of our process to bring us to love and deliver us from the hard heartedness, but to give us hearts of flesh that we may be. And we may have our Lord Yahweh Christ dwelling in us. Now, in working of good works of confession, death is not our shepherd. We have the master, our Lord Yahweh Christ, who requires us to humbly confess. Continue, please, brother, in Clement 52. First Clement 52 and 1. The master, brethren, hath need of nothing at all. He desires not anything of any man, save to confess unto him. Amen. May that be in our hearts, understanding our Lord as we get to know him. And we know that this is what he requires. This is the good work that we can do in his sight. Continue, please. For the elect David saith, I will confess unto Ahia, and it shall be, and it shall please him more than a young calf that grow of horns and hoofs. Let the poor see it and rejoice. Let now let us pour in spirit as we are being chastened and shown ourselves. We see this. This is worthy of rejoicing as it helps us understand what we need to do to do things that please our Allah. I am confessing our faults. This is worthy of rejoicing indeed, knowing that it's greater than animal sacrifice. Right. Let's continue in Clement chapter 52, verse 3, please. And again, he saith. Sacrifice to Allah, I am a sacrifice of praise, and pay thy vows to the Most High. And call upon me in the day of thine affliction, and I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Hopefully we're seeing 
it will cause us to glorify him because we know we're under spiritual attack. Some days may be tougher than others. And he said, call upon him in the day of affliction. Those are times even more where we're increasing our prayer, increasing our thanksgiving, focusing on the things that are good. And when we see the deliverance come, we know exactly who did it. And it helps us grow in faith and grow in our sincerity of praise, knowing that it's Allah that's doing it and getting to see the evidence of it in our lives. Hopefully this helps us. Continue, please. For a sacrifice unto Allah at the broken spirit. Man. For ye know and know well the sacred scripture, dearly beloved, and ye have searched into or into the oracles of Allah. We write these things, therefore, to put you in remembrance. Remember that broken spirit is key for us, brothers and sisters. That humbleness of Christ is where our salvation lies. Being meek and lowly of heart will get us deliverance and bring us unto the love that we seek. Let's continue seeing that through intercession, we can be delivered from perils and our transgressions to be brought unto love. First Clement chapter 55, verse 6, and going into 56 as well. Chapter 56. First Clement chapter 55, verse 6. To no less peril did Esther also who was perfect in faith, exposed herself that she might deliver the twelve tribes of Israel when they were on the point of when they were on the point to perish. For through her fasting and her and her humiliation, she entreated the all seeing master, the Allah of ages, and he, seeing the humility of her soul, delivered the people for whose sake she encountered the peril. So we have the testimonies to for us to see the power of prayer and fasting and righteousness, of cleansing our hands and calling upon our Allah. Continue, please. Therefore, let us also make intercession for them that are in any transgression. That forbearance, humility, excuse me, that forbearance and humility may be given them. To the end that they may yield not unto us, but unto the will of Allah. For so here we see. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. There we see again. We make intercession for not only for ourselves, but also for those who may be in transgression, and the, we know that it's Allah doing it. We talked about praying for that love to be imparted unto us. And when we pray for others, we pray that forbearance and humility may be given them. Because we know from the scriptures in Sirach chapter 10, uh, verse 7 to 12, that pride is the beginning of sin. Right. So we pray for others. We pray that we be given humility and that others be imparted in humility as well. Knowing all things comes from Allah. That's why we don't lift ourselves up against each other. Because we know we're all we all could fall to the same thing and we all have fallen to things ourselves. Therefore, restore our brothers in meekness. And this is all not that we want people to yield unto us because we seek not the glory of any man. We're all coming as servants, but it's so that the person will yield unto the will of Allah. That we may all serve the same master, regardless of nation, regardless of background. Continue, please, brother. For so shall the compassionate remembrance of them with Allah and the saints be fruitful unto them and perfect. And notice what we just discussed, that is a mindset of compassion. That's having the compassionate remembrance of them and that we, we help, according to what the scriptures show, we help build our brothers and sisters as well. If we walk in that compassion towards them, it helps give a memorial before Allah and his saints of fruit unto them and it will help make them perfect as well. Right. We are one body in Christ. We all have an effect on each other. Right. Iron sharpen the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Continuing, you ready, brother? Let us accept chastisement 
where no man ought to be vexed, dearly beloved. That's we, as David said, uh, let the righteous smite me to be a, a um, like fine oil upon my head, and it shall not break me. That's right. We we know that we're one body, and we're all seeking to please our head, Yahweh Christ. We have to endure the chastening from our Lord and amongst each other, because the Lord may show our brethren things that we may be doing, and knowing that. It's all in humility, receiving that correction from one another, knowing that it's all for our, our salvation. Continue, please. The admonition which we give one to another is good and exceeding useful. For it joins us to the will of Allah. I am. Amen. Because our admonition and our ex, um, our um, exhortations are according to the will of Allah. I am. Because we all we all seeking the scriptures, studying the law learn about the fruits of the spirit so then when we speak to each other about something it's in regards to that matter it's in like hey i noticed the law said such and such are we should we be doing this and this and that then edification comes and we grow together like, hey you're right that's what we're supposed to be doing praise the lord for showing that we can go forward can you hear me yeah, did yeah. i go out no you only went out in video okay great so that helps us see we're all speaking according to the same thing, the doctrine of Christ. Continue, please. For thus saith the holy word, I have indeed chastened me, I have not delivered me over unto death. Amen. Because that's what the chastening is for. Right. He doesn't want us to get to the fullness of sin, so he stops us by chastening us so that we don't go into death. And that's what we're doing as brothers and sisters when we see a fault amongst each other, right? right. Continue, for whom, please. For whom a higher love is he chasteneth, and scorneth every son whom he receiveth. Amen. Continue, please. For the righteous, it is said, shall chasten me in mercy, and shall reprove me, but let not the mercy of sinners anoint my head. Amen. Amen. Continue. And again he saith, Blessed is the man who Ahiah hath approved, and refuse not thou the admonition of the Almighty. For he causes pain, and he restoreth again. He, smite, he hath smitten, and his hands have healed. Amen. This is a blessing. This is a blessing to be reproved, brothers and sisters. We all, we talk about the blessings of the Lord. Ahiah bless thee, Ahiah keep thee. Reproof is a blessing for us, brothers and sisters. That's bringing the light is shining more and more as we approach unto the day of our Lord, Yahweh Christ. So the more we see our faults, the closer we're being brought unto Christ, Yahweh our Lord. Right? And we have to continue to walk towards that light so that our deeds may be made manifest. So we be, he be sure to cleanse us of all evil. Uh, the same way the Father heals, Christ does things as the Father, and he made the sacrifice so that we may be healed as well. For an example, for us, how we ought to sacrifice ourselves for the brothers and sisters of the body, that they may be healed through the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Christ. Can we read Second Corinthians, I mean, Second Clement, chapter 2, verse 7, and then going into chapter 3, please. All right. So also Christ will to save the things which were perishing, and he saved many, coming and calling us when we were even now perishing. Amen. We weren't in good condition when we learned of Christ. Right. But by his mercy, he came to save us while we were yet without hope. He became our hope. Continue, please. Uh, Second Clement, chapter 3, verse 1. Seeing then that he bestowed so great mercy on us, First of all, that we who are living do not sacrifice to these dead Elohims, neither worship them, but through him have known the Father of truth. What else is this knowledge to him worth? But not to deny him through whom we have known him. We cannot deny our Lord, who has made known the Father, who has made the Father known unto us. Let us Continue, please. Yea, he himself saith, Whoso confesseth me 
him will I confess before the Father. Continue, please. This then is our reward. If verily we shall confess him through whom we were saved. Now we're transitioning into the other form of confession. We, we learned about the confession of confession our faults. Right. Now there's also a confession we need in confessing Christ so that he will confess us before the Father. This is the other confession we must have to attain unto love. Let's continue, please, brother. Uh, Second Clement chapter 3, verse 4. But wherein do we confess him? When, right. when we do that which he saith, and are not disobedient unto his commandments. All right. Continue, please. And not only... And, and not only honor him with our lips, but with our whole heart, and with our whole mind. There we see obedience to the commandments and avoiding hypocrisy. Let our actions be one with our words. All right. This is how we confess him. Continue, please. Now he saith also in Isaiah, this people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Let us therefore not, not call him Lord, for this will not save us. Excuse me. Let us therefore not only call him Lord, for this will not save us. Hmm. For he saith, Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, shall be saved, but he that doeth righteousness. But he that doeth righteousness. Hmm. It's not by faith alone, and it's not by word alone, but by works also. Brothers and sisters, let us make our confession of Christ. Continue, brother, when you're ready. Okay. I'm in uh, Second Clement chapter 4, verse 3. Mm -hmm. So then, brethren, let us confess him in our works by loving one another. By not committing adultery, nor speaking evil one against another, nor envying, but being temperate, merciful, kindly. And we ought to have fellow feeling one with another, and not to be covetous. By these works, let us confess him, and not be the contrary. Amen. Now we have an understanding of the two forms of confession that can bring us to the love of Christ. Continue, please, bro. And we ought not rather to fear man, but Elohim. Because we're focused on confessing Christ in our works, not what, not being respect of persons, which is also against his commandments. Continue, please. For this cause, if ye, if you ye do these things, the Lord said, thought ye be gathered Though ye be gathered together with me in my bosom, and do not my commandments, I will cast you away, and will say unto you, Depart from me, I know not whence ye are, ye worker of iniquity. Be mindful, though we be in his bosom, and we don't keep his commandments, we will be cast out. So let us take this calling seriously, and know that we haven't attained yet. It's a work. Let's work our salvation. Work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Let us forsake our mistakes and go forward unto his love by confession in good works and repentance. Continue. Let's read First John chapter 2, verse 1 to 6, please. All right. My little children, these things write unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, God J. Christ, the righteous. And we know when we come with our whole heart, because remember, confessing our fault is also a commandment. This is doing a good work in the sight of Allah. Yache would be an advocate for us so that we can continue going forward and be strengthened to overcome the trial that we are in. Continue, please. And he is the excuse me, propitiation for our sins. And not for Amen. ours only, but also for the sense of the whole world. Amen. It's for any nation. Right. 
all the children of the world. All right, continue, please. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Amen. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Amen. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of Allah perfected. Amen. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. Amen, brothers and sisters, and that will bring us unto love, the love of Christ that surpasseth knowledge through works of confession and confessing Christ our Lord and also in confessing our faults and walking in compassion towards one another. And with that, I hope this is edifying, brothers and sisters, and helps in our building in the faith of Christ, Yache. And uh, you got anything, Brother Zachwa? I think that was a great building lesson especially for people walking in the faith. Uh, how you be praised. Oh, that was a good lesson. That was some, it, it was it was quick and to the point and really, really hit home. So praise the higher for that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to be less long-winded. <laughs> That's all right. Praise the higher. Higher. Good. All right. We hope everybody enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, please just write it in the chat below or send us an email at hebrewreaders at gmail.com. Uh, we always are uh, loving to, to see your, your questions and your comments um, and just to grow the grow the body of Meshiaka uh, one day at a time. And higher be praised. <laughs> Shabbat shalom, everyone.